You know what pisses me off? Actually, a lot of things this week. I've got a list. Things that piss me off this week. Number one, when grocery stores run out of my favorite foods. I am looking at you, Trader Joe's. We are talking we need cookie butter back. We are talking we need those little rice bowls back. And for heaven's sake, don't run out of the peppermint JoJo's this year. I have a child. It's very important that he have peppermint cookies. Just trust me. <sighs> Number two, people who take up more than one parking spot. If you take up more than one parking spot, this means you don't know how to drive, your vehicle is way too big, or you are a terrible, horrible person who deserves that blades come up from the lines between the parking spots and puncture your gas tank. <laughs> Number three, restaurants that don't take reservations. Now my time is valuable. It is far too valuable to spend, oh, just 20 minutes walking around with one of those little blinky puck things, which of course my ex-husband Frank has told our son Chadwick is actually edible. So yes, I'm walking around for not 20 minutes, more like 85 on average, with a seven-year-old who should not be trying to eat a blinky thing. <laughs> Number four, people who show up late. I'm looking at you, my ex-husband Frank, once again, late to pick up Chadwick for your visitation, which made me late for my volunteer shift at the pervert hotline, which meant I missed a call about a certain... <laughs> a certain former talk show host who's getting a little too friendly with the neighbors, if you know what I mean. Number five, people who don't respect personal space. <laughs> and finally, number six, homeless people who ask me for money. Now, here's the thing. I empathize. I really do. But do I look like I have money? Come on, I've been wearing the same coat for two seasons straight. Okay, that's it, I'm done. Call me. What?